Hi, Kazim here. On today's episode of the Tech Talk, I'm going to be talking to you about big data and analytics services on Azure. For any business to grow and prosper in today's world, data is key because data is going to help companies predict trends, identify opportunities, and stay ahead of their competition. Although this can only happen when you put the data that you have to very good use. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is to list out and briefly explain uh, some of these big data and analytic services that Azure provides. And subsequently, I'm going to have guests on the show who are experts to help us make better sense of each of the services. So let's delve in. Let's start with the problem that most businesses have with data. The problem most of the time is not the lack of data, but how businesses can make sense of the data that they already have. Businesses need to be able to use the data that they have to grow their business. Now, this data that businesses have is usually stored in a variety of formats. Some of them structured like the data that is stored on SQL Server. Some of them are semi-structured such as data stored as JSON, XML file, and so on. And some of them are unstructured data, uh, for example, flat files, data in the form of video format, and so on. And this data might be on-premises or it might be stored in the cloud. Now, we have tools or services on Azure that can help us put the data that we have to good use, regardless of the format that we have them in. Some of them, though, will require that you take them somewhere else, carry out transformation on them first, and then you can start to gain insight uh, from this data. Whereas other comes with all the necessary tools that you need in one place. So let's take a look at some of the uh, Azure Big Data and Analytics services that we have on Azure that can help us address some of these data problems. We have these tools or we have the services to include Azure Data Catalog, there is Azure SQL, we have Azure Analysis Services, there is HD Insights, there is Azure Synapse Analytics, and there is Azure Databricks. So let's kick things off with the Azure Data Catalog. So the problem here is that people have data sources all around the place or they have data lying all around the place, but they are not sure where those data sources are, which is where the Azure Data Catalog comes in. So the Azure Data Catalog help point you to your data sources. So you can set up the Azure Data Catalog to point you to all the data sources that you have. So it can help you store information about your data sources, regardless of whether they are on-premises or whether they are in the cloud. So it will help you to store information such as connection string to those data sources that you have and the, and the different location of those, your data sources. Next is the Azure SQL. First of all, SQL Server is a relational database management system or RDBMS, very similar to other popular RDBMS vendors like Oracle, IBM, and others. So SQL help us to store our data in a structured format. So Azure SQL is very similar to the SQL Server that we've known for many years. The difference is that now we have this in the cloud. If you're thinking of migrating from the SQL Server that you have on-premises to SQL that you have up on Azure, there are different options that you can choose from. There are about four flavors that you can pick from up on Azure, and they include the SQL server on Azure VM. So this is where you're going to have a VM up on Azure, and you have a SQL server instance on that VM. There is also the Azure SQL managed instance, so which is just one instance. So if you want to be able to use uh, for instance, some of the bell and whistles that comes with your SQL Server on-premises. So you might want to uh, do the Azure SQL Manage instance. There is the Azure SQL database. So if you need just a database without, uh, you know, many of those services that comes with SQL Server, then you go with Azure 
uh, SQL database and we also have the Azure SQL Edge. Those are the four SQL flavor that you can choose from when you're using SQL on Azure. Next is the Azure Analysis Services. The Azure Analysis Services is built on top of the SQL Server Analysis Services uh, that we've known for many years that comes bundled with SQL Server. It lets you take uh, the data that you stored in your databases or your data warehouses and then you know provide an easier and faster way of your users or maybe your business users to perform data analysis on those data using tools such as Power BI and Excel. So this same service is what has now been moved up to the Azure cloud as a managed service. Another big data service that we have on Azure is the HD Insight. So the HD Insight provide multiple open source big data tools that you can choose from for your data transformation needs. It allows you to provision clusters and those clusters are managed by Microsoft because it's sitting on the Microsoft Azure, right? So the clusters are managed by Microsoft. The cool thing when you use HD Insight is that you have the ability to choose from these different uh, cluster technologies. So you can use Spark, you can use Kafka, Hadoop, machine learning services, and so on. Unlike uh, the Azure Databricks, so I'll touch on that uh, in a little bit. So the difference between these and the Databricks is that the Databricks allows you to just use uh, the uh, Apache Spark. Another data service tool that you have on Azure is the Azure Synapse Analytics. Azure Synapse Analytics help you to carry out data analysis and data transformation over a very large amount of data. Synapse helps you to pull your data from wherever it is stored, regardless of its format, into the cloud. After this, the data goes through transformation and then it gets stored. You can then use other tools to connect to the transformed data and start to make sense of your data. All these processes can be managed from the Synapse Studio. And the Synapse Studio comes bundled with tools such as uh, Spark that you can use for your data transformation. There is the Synapse SQL uh, that helps you with uh, the storage of those data. And you have the Synapse Pipeline that helps you with uh, processing uh, your data. And the last one that I have here is the Azure Databricks. The Azure Databricks is very similar to the HD Insight that I mentioned earlier, although it is a more recent service than the HD Insight. However, unlike the HD Insight where you're able to choose from multiple cluster technologies, technologies such as uh, interactive query, HBase, Hadoop, Storm. In the case of Azure Databricks, it only allow you to work with uh, Apache Spark. So that's about the major difference between the Azure Databricks and the HD Insight. All right, so there you have it. Like I mentioned earlier, in subsequent episode, I'm gonna have guests join me on the show to help us elaborate a little bit more on the services and show us how the services really work. If you like this video, please give it a like and comment and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in the next one.